Hey guys, it's Fatima here from Vintage Parlor Arts, just coming at you with another video. This is a progress update on a slow stitch piece that I'm working on. Uh, this is, um, I guess it's textile art, I would call it. And it's a block, um, kind of in a boho style, yellow and blue and tan color scheme going on here. And it's uh, just kind of a progress update. It is not finished yet, but I just thought I'd give you a look at it. Um, I've got some, some blue fabrics going here and here. I've got some gold there and over here. And I've got some yellow wool thread uh, throughout. And here is kind of the crazy side, I call it. Um, it was kind of, it's, it's like I couldn't figure out what I was doing here. I don't know if you guys ever had that happen, but you, you just keep working aside and you can't quite get uh, satisfied with it and you kind of, overwork it and I feel like that's kind of what happened to this side here I'm not really happy with it but it is what it is so um so that's kind of what that is um I'm not really happy with that side of it but you know I don't know it kind of is what it is right now and um I'm trying to see this right here is just a piece of um, an old dishcloth that was coffee dyed. And here is some gauze. And this is like a part of an old doily that I just kind of stretched out. Um, what else? Just different. Um, there's a lot of running stitch in this. Um, I just took some white thread here and just kind of made like a decorative design. Um, here around this square and um, the thing I don't like about this side particularly is um, I think I made some of the stitches a little too narrow and it like crinkled my fabric um, I was reading somewhere that um, when you do the stitches too close together sometimes that's what the effect you get uh, is that it kind of wrinkles your fabric. <clears throat> uh, that can be what happens. So, it's kind of, no matter how much I stretch it, it's still just this kind of wrinkled right there, and I don't really like that. Um, I have some frayed edges here where I rip the fabric. You know, I kind of like that look. Um, oops, my thing's coming up here. I got it holding it on here. Um, the types of threads that I used for this, I used some different wool threads. Um, I use these a lot. You guys see me use these. I've got these on Etsy at Olympic Woolworth. Woolworks, I'm sorry. I always say Woolworth <laughs> because it's like a store from my childhood. But um, Olympic Woolworks out of uh, Washington State, I believe. Um, those are nice threads. And then, of course, these... Um, Perlay threads, you know, real common. You can pick them up anywhere. And then I just had some, um, like, embroidery thread. And this, I think, came from... This might have been some hand-dyed um, threads that I picked up on Etsy. I've been trying different vendors um, of different... Um, colored threads. I even tried to dye some of my own. I'll show you some that I, um, I had gotten a, just some, um, you know how you just pick up threads online or wherever, like, you know, you just buy them, and then I got them, and then I really hated the colors. I just really hated them, because they were these bright, kind of primary colors, and I just wasn't feeling it, because I like things more vintage. So I coffee dyed them and let them soak in coffee and it really did help some kind of like tone down some of these colors. So here's like an orange that I did. The coffee helped like 
toned down the color of the orange. Uh, so it wasn't so crayony, like kindergartenish <laughs> color. You can kind of see it a little better on on this one, I think. Uh, let me, I'll show you some other colors that I did. Um, let me see if I can see some other ones that. Um, I'm trying to find some that. Yeah, you can even dye coffee dye like blues, and it just kind of uh, tones it down a little bit. Because some of these colors were like almost fluorescent, and it just wasn't me. You know what I'm saying? But, um, like, here's an example. This yellow was just kind of crazy color. But the coffee kind of toned it down to something that I could maybe use. I'm trying to find some other colors that I thought were interesting. Um, yeah, even the pinks, the coffee kind of toned it down a little bit. Um, it didn't make a drastic change, but it seemed like the coffee kind of muted the color a little bit. It kind of muted that obnoxious neon color. Um, oh yeah, here's a good example. This, this kind of, uh, pinkish lavender color. I kind of toned that down. I don't know if that's ever happened to you guys. You get some threads and it's like, O-M-G. You know, it's just totally, like, <laughs> not cool. <clears throat> yeah, here's one. It kind of muted this down a little bit. So I was trying to salvage, if you will, I was trying to salvage the threads because I hated to toss them all away when I realized, oh, these are horrible colors <laughs> for me, you know. So they are still usable, some of them. Um, so anyway, here's this. And what I plan on doing, um, I don't know. I feel like I need some more stitches down here. I don't know. You know, sometimes you overwork things and I feel like this piece is getting a little overworked. Um, I might call it quits here real soon on this. And uh, what I've been doing is putting some batting on the back because I like um, my slew stitch to be soft, you know, and have that soft quilted feel. And then I like to cover up all this crazy stitching on the back. So I finish it off with a nice piece of fabric so it has like a finished look. So I'm going to do that and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when I completely finish it here. But I don't know. I like the colors. I like the yellow. I like the blue. Um, if I had to do anything over again, it would definitely be this left side because I am super, like, not happy with this left side. I'm just not happy at all with it. I don't know. If I'm, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. <laughs> What can I do with it? Nothing. I even considered, I'll be honest, hacking it away, like cutting it away. And then I'm like, no, Fatima, just leave it. Um, I was going to show you guys something else that I just picked up. Uh, I picked up some of these threads because um, I needed some more blue uh, threads. And these are these um, Japanese type threads. Shashiko? Sh I, don't know, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Shashiko, Shashiko, um, I believe they are Japanese, uh, threads, so I'm really excited to use these, so there's various different, uh, colors there on these, I don't know if I didn't really show you, did I, and I've got, I've got some really cool books I kind of wanted to share with you guys too, um, I know you guys have probably seen these um, online because I have a feeling they're kind of popular right now because I have seen other people with them, but I thought I would just show you a few pages from them. This, of course, you guys probably know what I'm about to show you if you know anything about slow stitch, but this is Claire Wellesley Smith. Yeah, is that how you say her name? Claire Wellesley Smith. Yeah. 
uh, slow stitch, mindful and contemplative textile art. It's really a neat book. And the cover has a velvety feeling to it. That's one of the first thing I noticed about this book. It's hardcover, but it feels so soft. It feels like fabric. And um, it really has some, some neat things in here. Um, I'll just show you a few pages. Um, but um, let me just show you. Um, <clears throat> it's got some beautiful pictures in it. And it talks about slow stitch and, you know, what that is and just different things you can do. Different ideas and here's some really cool examples of slow stitch. And textile arts. And how to find things, you know. It's really cool. some more like fiber stuff right. well here's an example she's got some things hanging on a clothesline to just kind of weather naturally and age in the sun that was kind of cool um let's see what else do i want to show you here so this is just really Really interesting book. And then there's another the second book. I went ahead and just got it. I just invested for it in my library. Um, it's called Resilient Resilient Stitch. Um, same author and same uh, feeling to the book. That soft, velvety kind of feeling. And I'm just getting into reading it, um, you know, and I'm one of these people, I, I never read a book, like, front to back. I always skip around. I don't know what it is. My brain is kind of, I don't know, ADD or something. But, um, and I love pictures. So I don't know what that says. I guess I'm very visual uh, type person. And these are just different, um, different examples of different fabrics and textiles, and I mean, it's just really neat. I mean, it's just really cool. If you're into arts and crafts at all, and you are sewing, I mean, you don't even have to be into sewing. If you're just into crafting in general or art, it's really neat to look at and to have in all your library. I like that. The red is really eye catching. And um, let's see here. I'm trying to find some good pictures here, real quick, to show you guys. Oh, yeah, here's some more examples right here of slow stitch. That kind of reminds me of that uh, Japanese uh, style, shashiko. I don't know if I'm even saying that right, but uh, the videos I've seen on YouTube about that. And she talks about picking up things um, like reusing items, like from thrift stores and things you have in your closet, you know, repurposing things. And um, so I really, I really can relate to that and just, you know, recycling things, reusing, repurposing. I just, I don't know, it speaks to me for some reason. I mean, I love to buy new things just like anybody else. But there's part of me that wants to reuse and, like, breathe new life into things, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I love this. This here is a piece, apparently she used these iron-ons, these embroidery iron-on pieces. 
um, these patterns, I guess you can iron them on, right? And so she did that here, and then she stitched around it, is uh, what I gathered from what I was reading. So I thought that was really cool. So I just wanted to share this little book with you and uh, show you a few things. <clears throat> And trying to see if I can find anything else. Just talks about different communities and, you know, people used to get together and do things in groups, you know. We're so isolated anymore in our culture and society. I just feel like we're so isolated. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a glare from the light there. So, there's that. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, if you did, please, uh, if you would, click the like button and the subscribe button. I would humbly appreciate it. Um, and thank you for everyone who subscribed to my channel. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for joining me this evening. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Take care and have a good week. Bye-bye.